Hey, welcome back to the portfolio review. So this one's going to be a little bit of a different format than what we're used to. I'm not going to be having any face cam or anything like that in this one just because I've had a lot going on this week work-wise and I haven't had the time to record this video and get this out to you but we did end up adding another company to the portfolio. You can see that on the third line on the spreadsheet, I added one and a half shares of Alibaba at a purchase price of $71.85. The reason I was able to add one and a half shares instead of just one share, because we're only depositing $100, is because the past two weeks we've been buying Starbucks and with the two shares we picked up, we had an extra roughly eight or nine dollars per share that we purchased because we purchased them at an average purchase price of ninety one dollars and thirty one cents and you can tell currently that the market has been going down the past couple of days which for us since we're just starting this portfolio that's actually a good thing because it's allowing us to pick up cheaper shares of companies that we already did the research and we're already interested in buying more of. And something that is actually relatively new is that Alibaba is actually paying dividends now, be it a 1.34% dividend yield right now. It is something else that they are starting to do, as well as the share repurchases that they've been doing. And in the past quarter, they actually bought back over $4 billion worth of their stock, closer to five. And they're focused on buying, I believe it's around $20 billion worth of their stock back over the next year. So theoretically, that would increase our ownership stake in the company. Uh, however, Alibaba is in ADR since the actual listing itself is on the Hong Kong exchange. Mm -hmm. You can see that in the past few days, it has trended up to $74.59, and we've got an unrealized PL of $4.11. Yet again, nothing to write home about, but this portfolio really won't be like that for a while because we're just building it up slowly, adding $100 a week, and seeing where we can take it. If you don't ever deposit that first $100 or whatever you think is small to start the portfolio, then the portfolio never starts. So I, I'd rather start something small like this and actually get it rolling than uh, never actually get it started at all. And to explain my spreadsheet a little bit, just because this is the first time that you're seeing this specific one, is I have the past four dividends listed here, and that's how I get the annualized dividends uh, calculated here. Uh, these are all um, formulas that I got from pulling the information from stockanalysis.com and some other websites like that uh, to pull in the dividend data and then I use the Google Finance to pull in the information for the current prices and I'm gonna go over explaining how I built this spreadsheet in another video just because it is relatively simple. I'd rather you be able to make this by yourself without having to use somebody else's and that way you really understand what's going on. Um, well, you can see over here in the corner, uh, our portfolio is valued at $393.82 currently. Yet again, nothing crazy, but we're continuing to add $100 every week and we'll see where this goes. As of right now, our annual dividends are up to $7.33 per year. Nothing crazy. That isn't even a burrito bowl yet. And as you can see, our dividend yield is actually only 1.86%. And I know that this is a dividend portfolio, but our whole focus isn't just on the dividend yield. We're focused on buying good quality companies that we can hold for a long, long period of time. And we foresee these companies compounding continually over the years, decades that we own these companies. So over time, yes, this will increase and, and I will be buying more things that are going to push that dividend yield up. Right now, the portfolio is sitting at a loss of $6.58. So let's hope these share prices continue going down for the next couple of weeks so we can keep building up a position in these companies that I really like and I like buying them at cheaper prices as well. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment what stocks you guys are buying below.